<laughs> oh, what a man. Yep. Are we in? We are in. Sorry. Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome to All About The Bass. Uh, I'm, I'm Lee, and this man knows there's no introduction, but um, this is Marcus <laughs> Miller, everyone. Hi. Hi there. Um, we have a brand new Sire, Sire bass to talk about, Marcus. V10. V10. So we had the V7, yep. which was the first, the first offering. And then uh, there's a V9. Yeah, right? it's more like that deluxe version. More the, like the, the deluxe version. Top. And now this is the V10. And this thing, man, yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so first thing, what's the okay. first thing you notice? Right, I, I noticed the color. I like the yes. color of the maple. Yes. Yeah. The color of the, uh, particularly the neck, right? Yeah. And this thing, the wood is roasted. Yeah. What they do is it's a way of um, aging the wood quickly because there's nothing like old wood. Yeah, right? that's it. I have a Fender Jazz Bass that's from 1977, and there's no way to replicate it because it's just... It's just built into it. It's what but with this it. roasting thing that Sire is doing, it pulls a lot of the moisture out of the wood, yeah. which is um, a lot of what happens when wood ages. Right? That's right, yeah. And so this thing, you can feel it, right? When you feel oh, the neck, man. it's like... This is it. It's got a density to it. You Definitely, know? yeah. And so, um, and, 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 and it's a process. It's not like you just like put it in your oven. Oh, don't no. try to put the base in your oven, okay? Just don't, please don't. It's, it's, do a, it's, a, uh, it's a process <laughs> that they, they do that involves heat. Yeah. Put it that way. That's it, that's it. But uh, it's, it's really cool. So that's the first thing you notice. Too right, and you know what? The, the, the other thing I noticed straight away looking at the neck was just say that you've got that gloss on the fretboard as well because there's yeah. a really lovely satin, satin finish on the back of these necks. Right, so um, there's, there's a difference between the back and the front. That's it, that gloss. And say, you were saying before just to keep that, um, the, the tone really, and the focus yeah. of the tone. So after yeah. baking it, you get a little bit of that sort of come away. So it's, it's a, gloss it, it, the, the, the tone spreads out and putting the uh, lacquer on the front kind of, focuses Focus the sound, the sound yeah again. so uh it's really nice and then the other thing is the shape of the neck right? oh yes yeah so, so if you notice like with this bass right here you have some bases that are just flat that's right? it yeah but this bass has this thing happening more like an acoustic bass you know how the acoustic bass yes yeah. this right and this bass has that so it feels really cool and they based it on one of my old old bases you know, they yeah, said you know yeah. your bass does a little thing you know yeah and they put it so it feels really comfortable so you're saying you've got it's like asymmetrical isn't it so it's not all that like perfect shape right. all the way around so it's like you know right. more of a curve at the top and then flattens out around around yeah. the bottom so exactly um, but say modeled on your base your, your preferred yeah net profile so so it's it's it feels to me it feels great you yeah know? and then i think finally uh totally new pickups you know yes. what I mean? yeah and every time the guys at sired come up with new pickups it's like you gotta learn how to play better <laughs> yes <laughs> because yeah. the pickups are like hey if you play it you're gonna hear no it. room for mistakes you yeah know what I mean? right, yeah but they're really like uh sensitive and they are um, and dynamic yeah you know what i mean so if you if you really dig in the note 
pops out. I had to actually get used to it. Yeah. Oh. When I first started playing Sires, hey man, don't you know? Make sure you hit it exactly the way you want it because yeah. it's gonna come out. You Definitely. Know I mean? I, I, I've got a V7 that I've, I've um, me and Isabella were talking, talking earlier as well. I've had it about the same sort of time, about a year, mm -hmm. and um, from owning jazz basses, old Fenders for yeah. over the years, you know. It's the first five I've, I've gone to as well that's had that, that comfort to it, but you're exactly right. That clarity on the preamp is just, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, you got, it's, it's your friend and your enemy. Yeah, so you've got, you're you like, just, just, just like ride it, put, get that sweet yeah. spot, and for your type yeah. of playing and your style, it, it would just enhance it, you know, but yeah. It takes and a and bit for finger wood. style, this bass, you know, I always like the, the darker woods yeah. for finger style anyway. Oh, cool. Yeah. I think a lot, of, a lot of the reason that I played with my thumb a lot was because I played with a maple neck. Yeah, harder wood, and the finger style just didn't jump out as much. So I'm playing on a recording, and I need to really kind of yeah. insert myself. Okay, I would yeah, go yeah. to this. You know, what yeah. I mean? so I could get the. Uh, I was playing ballads like that. Yeah, nice. you know what I mean. I was like. <laughs> I'm playing ballads oh, with yeah, my thumb yeah. just to get the full. Yeah, the fullness you know, because, you from because, the note the attack you get. See, it works on this, but on, on, my, <laughs> on my old bass, it was like... Yeah, you wouldn't get that, that much sort of roundness to the sound and the note that you want is, that you would get just yeah. slapping it out. But on yeah. this, the finger style is very nice, you know? <laughs> Right? Yes. The, notes, the notes jump, you know? Man, absolutely. This is it. Thank you. 
Oh. So it's a nice sound, right? Thank you, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, we're filming something. Hi. <laughs> oh, well, man, these are some of the best bases, like, fitting bases. Yeah. You know, I've heard, and so with that neck shape, it's the finishing to me as well. I know that you guys, with the, so Messiah, the version two's come with more of the satin finishing. And, right. Mm -hmm. But there's a there's a different type of gloss to this, that, right? There's a feel to this that's even, um, even easier to get under your hands and, and you know, as a smoother touch, so. So also, this is what happens. Um, you know, people like try to do um, like test sire versus this, sire versus yeah, that. Yeah. And the difference is, first of all, very subtle, right? Yeah. So bass players need to know, first of all, especially if you're going to a recording studio, as soon as you play, the engineer's going like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if you think like the sound, like the little difference is going to make a difference, what it is is that um, with a, what an engineer looks for is a really focused, clear, in tune sound. Yeah. Okay. And once you have that, you're good. Yeah. The, everything else, like, the wood that comes from the exotic uh, country where it's illegal to cut the trees down. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. And, and all of the, uh, all of this, this is for you. This yeah. is for not the people who hear you. This is for your experience. Yeah, right? absolutely. And so what happens is that there's an experience looking at this neck. Yeah. You know, like, you, like, wow. See, right, man, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good right yeah. now. Yeah. I might, I might want to just play that note right there. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? that's it, yeah. And so what happens is that I think people need to understand that it's like automobiles. You got a car that costs, you know, 1,500 pounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guess what? It gets you where you got to go. Absolutely. Right? Exactly. A car like a, a really expensive exotic car gets you where you got to go also, right? It's really about your experience as you're going. Yeah. You know? But yeah. people just who are waiting for you, all they know is you've arrived. You know what I mean? Right. That's a great way of saying so, yeah. So the, the end result, like with a sire, man, if you plug it in, the engineer's not going to have any problem with you. No. no Some no, bases no. they will. You know, <laughs> yeah. I can't tell you how many guys have gone into studios with their, you know, exotic bass, and the engineer goes, that yeah, bass is beautiful. You got a Fender? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That bass is beautiful. Get out. Get out. And now what they're doing is like, I've visited a lot of studios. They have sires. It's a studio. Just ready to go. For the right? exact situation. <laughs> yeah. Bass player comes up with a 12 string bass, you know? <laughs> yes. Like that this. sounds lovely, but. And they go, dude. That? <laughs> that's <laughs> really. Look, just do me one take with this, please. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, love it. So that I've, I've seen uh, engineers just have a, a sire waiting for them. Man, you know that is mean? the way. But, the same. but what happens is that, look, man, if you can have that sound, have that taken care of, yeah. then you can have things that make your playing experience Absolutely. nicer. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? So yeah, this, this is, is what's happening here. Is that like, this is this is beautiful, you know? Yeah. Even the whole thing, you know. And you say the tone, even say through these are the newly designed pickups as well. You, you said that like, the guys have just just worked on the, say it's. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I gotta be careful fresh. because when I hit the sucker, like that. Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't mean for all of that to happen. <laughs> yeah. you, you know what I yeah. mean? They are. Yeah, it's that balance of sort. Of, yeah, I guess yes. you're still getting used to them as well. Why don't you say just I, I, I as they come am, up? Yeah. But yeah. say preferred is like sort of taking the technology yes. exactly where it needs to go, like to the top where exactly. it needs to go with those pickups. So. Exactly. Well, man, I mean, I think we've covered it. Oh, apart from, like, I have to say, because this is one thing, as a, as, uh, as a uh, work in a shop as well, and, you know, we sold so many side bases. Um, but the one thing that came, came through, which is another lovely little upgrade, aluminium casting around all the, the dials and everything. Yes. So these are like extra, extra sort of sturdy, oh, really, yeah. really smooth dials. And that was one, one You know thing how those plastic knobs used to get on your nerves? Some of y'all were calling <laughs> me about these knobs. <laughs> yeah, oh, you've been getting as well. Yeah, oh, but what, but, um, if you don't find the right metal, the metal gets in the way of the sound. It yeah. gets in the way of the circuitry. It starts interfering, you know what I mean? So, so I decided to go with plastic, but now they figured out a way to, to have plastic inside and That's then right. aluminum. And what do you say in England? Alu aluminium? Aluminium, but yeah, aluminum. Aluminium, <laughs> aluminum for everyone else. <laughs> I love it. But this but is it. Yeah, it's, so it's really, it feels really good. A nice another little touch, man. Yeah, absolutely. And say so these are will be coming in store very soon. I know that there's this is like the natural. This is like a brown sunburst. Is there another color, guys, at all? That these, these will, are they, two colors, any five strings, five strings. There'll be five strings, five strings in these colors as well, right? So, 
Oh man, all I've got to do is say thank you so much again, oh. Mr. Marcus Miller. This is an absolute honor. My pleasure. Thank man. you again, man. Oh, thank for, you, man. Oh, the second jam. Oh, I've been <laughs> with you in my lifetime. That's, that's oh, something I didn't think I'd be able to say. <laughs> we are, yeah, so stick with us. Um, these will be in store soon. Uh, check out the website for more details. Um, and yeah, we'll be back with you very, very shortly. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you soon on All About the Bass. Take care. <laughs>